so today I'm going to be talking about The Breakfast Club, which was made in 1985. A group of kids report for Saturday detention, uh, and they're all from different cliques or from uh, different groups. There's Bender, the criminal, Claire, the princess, Brian, the brain, Andy, the athlete, and Alice in the basket case. Uh, the principal, Mr. Vernon, gives them all an assignment. They have to write an essay about who they think they are um, and why and what they did to end up in Saturday detention. Um, at, during the hours, they dance, they harass each other, they tell stories, they fight, they smoke marijuana, and they talk about a lot of things. Gradually, as the hours in detention passes, they open up to each other, telling each other, their secrets. Um, they also all discover that they all have strained relationships with their parents and they're all scared that one day they'll end up like their parents um, and make the same, the same mistakes as the adults around them. Uh, and also they're afraid that after detention is over that they'll never speak to each other again. Uh, at the end of the movie, Claire... Um, becomes more friendly with everyone, and Bender and her, um, they're going to probably have a relationship, and also Andrew becomes interested in Allison after Claire gives her um, a makeover. Um, so this whole story, this whole movie was about just them progressing as they, as they come closer together as friends and um, at the end they all decide that Brian will write the essay to uh, to Mr. Vernon. And I really enjoyed this movie. I it was actually one of my favorite movies that I watched. It was so it was funny. It was it was just amazing. I thought that the characters were great. This plot was great. I, it was interesting. I never lost interest. It was funny. It was just overall a great, great movie. Uh, I think that this movie pertains to not only the 80s, but all of every era of time. Um, it captures perfectly what it is like to be a teenager and what expectations are placed on you by your parents or teachers. Um, and this may not have anything to do with who you really are. Um, in the end... It turns out that it is not so easy to label the characters as example, the athlete or the princess or the criminal. Each of us, uh, as the characters learn over the course of this movie, um, has elements of all of these things. No matter. Uh, my father, Avery Soderman, commented on this movie and he told me that, that he watched this all the time when he was growing up. Um, he thought that this this was one of his favorite movies of all time. He loved the characters. He loved the storyline. And he enjoyed watching it. He watched it over and over again because it was such a great movie. So the reviews from Metacritic.com say, Before lapsing into the land of insipid, John Hughes actually made a few movies that shined some light on the trials of modern adolescence. The Breakfast Club is one of them. This could have been an unmitigated disaster, but Hughes' way with the material ensured it a special place in the heart of just about everyone who happened to be in high school while Ronald Reagan was president. 10 out of 10.